But we're gonna get to see what happens after he touches it. Perfect. Oh, yes. I'm Destiny. I'm Sean. We've been friends for over a decade. And we grew up liking different stuff. And sometimes the same stuff. And now we're watching stuff. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to us. This is me, Sean. Destiny. And today what we're going to be watching is a Marvel Phase 5 Full Slate reveal. So, um, every year around my birthday, May, I always felt like Marvel was gifting me with something. Yeah, there was always a little event. Something. It was kicked off the summer, made things nice. It did. Gave us something to like t talk about or chat about, maybe even theorize about for upcoming. And releases. we've been appreciating these summer releases for 10 plus years now, obviously since Iron Man. But like, I've loved Marvel forever, been reading the comics since I was a kid. And now these movies are just like the culmination of all of my sweet dreams. I hate that now it's been so long since we've gotten anything new. So I'm really glad that we're going to get this, this full, all-in-one Marvel Phase 5 full slate review. And I haven't really seen anything because I just kind of try and stay away from stuff. because, Especially now because who knows when I'm going to get it, if ever. Right. Yeah, that's, so, um, that's what I do too. I avoid spoilers at all costs. I don't want to click on those videos when I see them. Uh, so let's go. <laughs> Today I'm excited to talk about the expansion and future of the MCU. As you may know, the cinematic universe weaves storylines of heroes and villains across 23 feature films to date. And with Disney Plus, we're able to extend this yeah, way of storytelling way. to a new okay. format, creating series that are connected to our theatrical releases, making the MCU more immersive than ever. There's a lot of new content coming from Marvel Studios, so let's get started. Let's do this. Yeah, let's get One let's. Vision will be the very first Marvel Studios series on Disney Plus. Wanda and Vision are two of our most powerful and complex Why heroes, like and this series is a perfect expansion point for MCU storytelling. Huh? Launching like on Disney Plus on January 15th, with authority. here's a look at the brand new trailer for WandaVision. Yes. Oh, see, I'm so good, Dee. Like oh my gosh, I love her. Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one. <laughs> Did you ever watch Be Witch? Mm -hmm. Just to remember what it's that. I used to love Nick and Knight. Oh my gosh, the Brady Bunch? The Brady Bunch are doing everything. Mm. Her powers are so immense that, like, the show has the capacity to have anything happen. Yeah. That's the day after my birthday, too. Elizabeth Olsen is currently in London right now. Omega level. She's shooting the film Doctor Strange and the Multiverse. Oh, give us some Doctor Strange, Doctor please. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yes, with director Sam Raimi, star Benedict Cumberbatch, and the rest of the cast, including Benedict Wong, Rachel, Rachel McAdams, and Chusa Ajifor. And joining them is a We're getting Mordo back. Oh, man, it's gotta be America epic. Chavez, played by Sochi Gomez. America this Chavez. This film hits theaters March 25th, 2022. <laughs> And we're really pushing the boundaries of storytelling with this thrilling, scary, mind bending And adventure. you're bringing in a ton of characters. Scary. scary. Radar. Connect directly to the events of Wonder Radar. Vision, but it will also connect to the events of our new Spider Man film coming to theaters December 2021. Moving to our next series for Disney Plus, okay. which launches this coming March The Falcon and the Winter Soldier features two recognizable superheroes last seen together in the final moments of Dude, Avengers recognizable Sam Wilson, like a.k.a. That. The Falcon, is played by Anthony Mackie, and Bucky Barnes, The Winter Soldier, is played by Sebastian Stan. 
The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, I just never really like the Marvel Studios movie appreciated the Captain episodes. America Winter Soldier the Bucky Falcon stories as much as everyone Marvel. else did. It's like it's barely superhero stuff to me, honestly. Right? It's like, oh, so a couple of guys teamed up. Well, that's cool. Like to see it. And he's just really strong and really good tactician. And he, but he's also a really good guy. They're all really good guys. So I don't know. It's kind of Mary Sue. Well, story like maybe uh, you know I saw the. Little... Even though the Captain America movies have been really good. Comics just never leaves me get behind. I need a symbol. Keep me going. Like, come on. Yeah, wow. Is everything that has. I mean, maybe it's just I shouldn't point it out. But the HBCU band, I'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how they use that. I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God damn. Now to another hero we last saw in Avengers Endgame Black Widow. Right. Oh, the big screen on May 7th, 2020. Hey, birthday. Of course, the film stars Scarlett Johansson Perfect. as Natasha Romanoff. Fans have been patient, and I can't tell you just how ready we are for this Avenger. Patient is one a word. Standalone film. <laughs> and speaking of fan favorite characters, Loki. Loki, eh? Yeah, we're not really Loki fanboys or fangirls, I guess we should say. Uh, hey, girl. In the of Loki, the They're mostly Loki fans. 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 So fans. Fans. Martino, Mumi Mosaku, and Richard E. So Grant. As with our other shows coming to Disney Plus, we want to try something a little different. Explore a new genre for us at Marvel Studios. Sure. So we put Loki in the center of his own crime thriller. If that sounds a little unusual, confusing, don't worry. Loki is just as confused. Is this going to be like a Lucifer kind of show? Yeah. Love Tom Hiddleston, he's such a perfect Loki. <laughs> Let's see. Are we gonna get to see what happens after he touches it? Perfect. Oh, yes. Because uh, I was like, he ain't gonna just disappear, and then we ain't gonna find out. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Marvel. Beijing? <laughs> That's obviously not Beijing. You take me somewhere to kill me. West, West. I'm taking you someplace to talk. That's even a misdimension. I think you do like a lot of what you just did. They would just use the same actor. You love to talk. So in Wilson. I don't know, it's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. Time prison? 
Man mixed with Umbrella Academy. Come on. What did you expect? Huh. Okay. Interesting. All I like that there's going to be Marvel different things on Disney Plus. Series coming to Disney Plus next summer. What if? Oh, gosh, the script I love on the MCU, series. Taking famous events from the films and reimagining them in unexpected ways. We've assembled a stellar voice cast with many MCU stars reprising their roles. Here's a look at What If. Space. in Australia on our film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Shang-Chi. We're so impressed the way Simu Liu has brought the character of Shang-Chi Gosh. to life. Simu is surrounded on screen by a fantastic cast okay. that includes Aquafina, Tony Leung, and Michelle Yeoh. This film is among the very first in our Phase 4 and is set to release in theaters on July 9th, 2021. Launching on Disney wow. later next year. We're getting so much this yeah. year. Like they're just like, all right, we held out. Yeah, so, so you guys better be ready. Go. Here's a dumb. During this year during shutdown, we held online this auditions Marvel? all around the world. To yeah, been playing as her for a little while now. Her in Amon Balani. Amon will be okay. surrounded by a phenomenal cast and creative team that will bring this story to life. So here's an early look. So you probably kind movie. of know her storyline a little. I kind of do. Miss Marvel is a new kind of superhero. But at the core of all of it, her story is so universal. Miss Marvel is one of the newer characters in the Marvel comics. And when one comes in, that grabs the world's imagination like this. The questions are, when are we going to bring Miss Marvel to the screen? When Miss Marvel first came out, we had such an incredible reaction. It was so Ooh, incredibly so popular happened. because everybody's been at uh, in Marvel her. Comics for a while now. A young teenager, nice. her, specifically a Pakistani in the comic book. Are you kidding? <laughs> Promise you'd be cool. I am cool. The casting process Promise was that. Cool. When we discovered Iman, we knew that she was Kamala Khan. It was unanimous decision. Yeah, I can't believe that's right now. 
<laughs> Could you imagine me told you going to be oh my gosh. Now if I was a kid, I would die. Arby, Mira Menon, and Charvino Beige Noy, and all of them are taking the material and elevating it. It's all human. It's about a teenager figuring out who she is and about relationships. Family and friendship is at the heart of the MCU canon. That's what's so exciting about the story that we're bringing is that we're going to introduce you to a new family that's also going to be part of the wider MCU. You think they're going to have the, the young generation? Oh, the what? Like a young generation of Oh, yeah. People? They I absolutely mean, they have, have. They have her and... Well, this Marvel, is it the, the Young Avengers are like, is a really good, two. like, Jamie McCullough. Charlie works book. with director Mia Picasso. And today I'm excited to announce that Miss Marvel, played by Mon, will be joining Brie Larson and co-starring wow. in Captain Marvel 2. Love Monica Rambeau? Rambeau. Oh my Rambeau. gosh, I love her. I wonder she if she's gonna have the so fake arm. She's in interconnected one division. that infuses all of our story time. Remember, she's the girl who was like, uh, who, who are you? I don't know. Oh, I thought that was uh, oh. Oh. Eternals, we're maybe, introducing maybe a brand new ensemble of superheroes to the MCU. Oh my gosh. This is an epic story spanning thousands of years, and it's one of our most ambitious films yet. Thousands uh, of uh, years. On November 5th, wow. 2021. Gilgamesh. Original oh my Jeremy gosh. Returns it's going to be so good. In so, so, my so good. good. Oh gosh. Late next Guarantee year. it. Yeah. In our series, Hawkeye teams up with another I love one. Hawkeye. I love the like old Kate David Aha artwork. I'm pleased to confirm that Kate will be played by the amazing Kaylee Slinton. Rounding out that cast, oh, yeah. Vera Farmiga, mm -hmm. Frothy, and newcomer Vera Arthur Farmiga Cox, playing Mark Lopez. The episodes are being directed by Reese Thomas and the directing duo of Bert and Bertie. Debuting for the first time in the MCU, She Hulk is coming to the I should have It's a series about a woman trying to navigate the world and be taken seriously as a working professional. Yeah, because despite the fact that she well over six foot seven. Jennifer and Walters. <laughs> It's a very funny series being directed by Cat Carrillo and Thank Mom. you. <laughs> and I can officially confirm that She-Hulk slash Jennifer Walters will be played by the talented and Emmy Award winning Tatiana Maslany. She I'm was in something I heard, heard but I didn't know. The Tim Roth is returning yeah. is the abomination. Uh, the character was first introduced to the MCU in 2008's The Incredible Hulk. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Enough, I can confirm that the Hulk himself, Mark Ruffalo, will be appearing of course in the series. Of course he will. Of course he will. Of course he will. Yeah. Yeah. Walters is a story of She-Hulk. I want Red Hulk, but yeah. we already know that General Luke Ross yeah. is like, we already know, right? Just do it. Put him in there. Bring your whole new different vibe to the MCU. Moon Knight is an action-adventure, Indiana Jones-type story coming to life as a Disney Plus series. Another comic Direct like I really Hulk never Hulk. got into. The character Moon Knight is a complex vigilante who suffers from disassociative identity disorder. And these multiple identities that live inside him are very distinct characters in the series. The backdrop of our story is incredible Egyptian iconography. Egyptology is something the world's always been fascinated by. Now you love your stuff of Egyptian iconography. Uh, raw? Now I want to talk about a couple of I've heard of the first. Or no, the first of which is Secret Invasion uh, coming to Disney Plus. Samuel L. Jackson is back as Nick Fury, oh, and yes, Ben Wilson yes. from Captain Marvel returns as the scroll. Talos. Next to Civil War, Secret Invasion is arguably the biggest crossover comic That's event in the last 20 years, and we're bringing it to Disney Plus. It's about a sect of scrolls who have infiltrated every level of life on Earth. Dang, they're really going there. The way that it kicks off in the comic books is so insane. With an, with an explosion of a bo dead body, the Avengers are meeting in secret in a body blow. It's in It's like a really good future storyline. We're also well underway on a series for Disney Plus based on Armor Wars, a classic Marvel story about Tony Stark's worst fear coming true. It's what happens when his tech falls into the wrong hands. And this series will like, star a uh, beloved member of the MCU, uh, Don Cheadle, will be returning as Jim Rhodes, a.k.a. Gosh, what's his name? Uh, One of the best things about oh, Sam Rockwell, we're just like the other day. That our team of Marvel Studios is very able to do some of the things we've always wanted to do. Oh, wait, uh, I, for, I thought we were talking about the AIM guy. Like You're her, talking no, about uh, Osborne. Yes. Like I mean, they're, that's their AIM. Osborne, there's like a lot of different like powers that could be making robots. And since James Gunn is back to write and work. Okay. In fact, we're going to shoot holiday special of the Galaxy Volume 3. What is this? Uh, this special will drop holiday prior to the next Guardians of the Galaxy film, which hits theaters in 2023. Uh, and speaking of Guardians, 
aptly titled I Am Groot, everyone's favorite little tree, Baby Groot, will star in a series of shorts on Disney Plus featuring several new and unusual characters. Dang right. Before I go, I couldn't leave you without giving a few more updates Kinda on some like of the anticipated upcoming films. In January, we'll begin filming Thor, Love and Thunder with director Taika Waititi and Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson returning. I am uh, Please to confirm that Academy Anything Award winning actor Christian Bale is playing the villain, Gore the God Butcher. No! Thunder releases in theaters on May 6th, 2020. What? No, no, no. We announced the comic wow. last year. We're moving into a play. Frightening. Starting Academy Award. Oh. oh my gosh. This, perfect, I like. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect casting. I cannot yes. believe they actually got him for this. Director Peyton Reed is hard at work with our Marvel Studios team on the third Ant-Man film. Love and Thunder. Will officially Gore. Ant-Man no, no. Quantum Mania. Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, Quantum and Michelle Pfeiffer are all returning. And That's Cassie Newton is joining the cast really and playing Cassie. Hey, hey, so hey. And Kane the Conqueror. Great actor, Jonathan Majors. Perfect. Love Jonathan Majors. Love Kane. I wanted to acknowledge the devastating loss of a dear friend and member of the Marvel Studios family. Chadwick Boseman was an immensely talented actor and an inspirational individual who affected all of our lives professionally and personally. His portrayal of T'Challa the Black Panther is iconic and transcends any iteration of the character in any other medium from Marvel's past. And it's for that reason that we will not recast the character. However, to honor the legacy that Chad helped us build through his portrayal of the King of Wakanda, we want to continue to explore the world of Wakanda and okay. all the rich and varied characters introduced in the first film. Writer-director Ryan Coogler's hard work on the sequel now will bring the film to you in theaters July 8th, 2022. There's a lot of comics where T'Challa is not the Black Panther. A lot, a lot. He loses it. His cousin takes it. His sister takes it. Like, Ape Man takes it. We're working on a feature now, and it will be directed by the director of our recent Spider-Man films, John Watts. We've got a lot in store. That's it? And the number four? You got a TV like that? Jesus. It will be home for both our feature films and our series for years and years to come. Since Marvel first joined Disney back in 2009, Bob Iger's been the biggest champion of the work that we do. None of this would have been possible without his support. Thanks, so it's Bob. It's my pleasure to turn things back over to Bob. Thank you. Uh, that was insane. That Ooh, Gore. Oh, you don't even understand how much I love Gore. He is terrifying in the comics. Like Christian he, Bale has like a slow, like his like slow menacing, like he's going to kill that role. He did Batman. And he was a great Batman, but like he can be even more evil and even more like sinister. And he wasn't allowed to in oh. that role. And I had no idea that we were going to get Christian Bale in Love and Thunder. Like... They do like to you know, hold, hide that nut until we can really just figure it out. Um, I don't know if gosh, it's spoilers to say, so maybe spoiler, but if you don't read the comics, it's too late now. This is years ago. But uh, someone takes over, you know, as Thor. A, yeah. There, a female Thor uh, comes about, and it turns out that it's Jane. Mm -hmm. uh, she had been diagnosed with cancer. And that was keeping her alive. Mm -hmm. And also she was like fighting crime with it. So is, are we going to get a similar storyline to that? Which was pretty good. Like a lot of people, I mean, it was kind of obvious, but they kind of threw you off the trail a little bit, but uh, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I really have nothing to say. <laughs> so I'm so really just excited because if they're going with Gore, that means that he's the, he went like across the cosmos, just killing every guy he came across until he came across Thor in the comic, and then they fought. Well, it's, just, it's a great story. It's D. gonna be a I'm long gonna, day for Thor. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day for Thor, and then I'm also very excited. We got one division coming. I mean, they just have so much coming out over the next year. Like they're just like, oh, every couple of months, like oh, either have Dempsey Plus or go to the movie theater. We got my you. biggest shocker. My biggest shocker mm -hmm. was Loki. I didn't know, I really what to expect from Loki, so mm -hmm. I guess I didn't know what to expect that. Like, <laughs> they're explaining it as a crime thriller. Okay. Very interesting. And, oh, like, a whole bunch of 
unexplained stuff is going on. So TVA <laughs> and Owen Wilson. Like, like, Owen Wilson. He's a great time. <laughs> Talk. Everyone is going to be in a Marvel movie, ex- like at some point. Yeah. Yeah. All, your the, big- all the top, all the top tier talent. Anyway. What was your biggest shocker? Shocker for me. Ooh. God. <laughs> God butcher. So I still am on that. Yeah, he's. Whenever like whenever you first like encounter him in the in the comics, you are being told like the backstory of the um, symbiotes that like uh, like Venom, Carnage, all of them. Like you uh, find out that Clintar, the name of their planet that they come from, is not actually. It's not actually a planet at all. It is a giant mass of symbiotes out there floating in the middle of nothing in space. And you know what's at the very center of all of these people? Gore the God Butcher. Yeah. So whenever I'm like, hang on. Like if we're going to get that, that means that uh, how many, they have to tie in a Spider-Man like spinoff. They have to. Like, tie, them, them, tie them all in. Because weren't they talking about they wanted to try to get Venom into the MCU? Yeah, they're trying to get them all in because we have. If you're gonna have Morbius, you're gonna have like the clone uh, cloning of X Men. That's like you bring in the rest of the MCU when you do that. I mean, you don't have to, but it's cool if you do. I wonder how they're gonna hit us with Secret Wars. Like, how's that gonna? Because if they said that's probably gonna be the next Avenger type. Oh my gosh! Oh, the, the start <laughs> of Secret Wars. Well. I guess there's there's a way newer Secret Wars event going mm-hmm. on, so they could really go either direction. But the original Scroll Invasion Secret Wars was way better, mm-hmm. honestly. Also because Scott Lang played a huge role in that one, because he was like mm, he's kind of more of a hero now. But in the comics mm-hmm. back then, he wasn't so much of a hero. He was kind of like, look out for myself. Mm-hmm. I don't want to die. I don't know what's your guys' problem, but I don't want to be a hero and die. Right. So he ends up saving the whole day, pretty much, and becoming a real hero. So mm-hmm. it's a really great arc for him. Yeah, and it so. begins with a body explosion. <laughs> I know you're so excited about uh, the body yeah. explosion. All right, well. Whew. I think that Marvel realized 2020 was just a really, really crappy year. So, like, you know what? Just to make up for it, just to salve that, you know, burn a bit, we'll we'll give you guys, like, everything. Everything you wanted in a month. Yeah. Everything and things you didn't even know you wanted. And then what I'm going to love about it probably is that because of the way that I've been used to Marvel handing me stuff for, like, you know, the last decade, uh, I think I'm going to find that, oh, I'm going to go, like, we're gonna see WandaVision and then I'm gonna be like, wanna talk about it like like, oh hey, this go see it again, you know, and then like before I know it, the next thing's gonna be out. And then I'm gonna be like, Oh, it's just a rolling at that <laughs> point I'm like, like, Do I need to go back to it? Like week after week, new Marvel stuff. Oh my gosh. It's well, gonna be a good time. So it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time for the channel too. Lots of reactions if we can get Yeah. If we can get it past copyright. Yeah, right, those Disney's <laughs> brutal. If we can get past this past copyright <laughs> Uh, all all right. right thanks for watching yeah and uh always make sure you uh like subscribe hit those comments you know we like that trifecta all right and we'll see you guys here in our next video take it easy